What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm going to tell you why you should never buy a 32 gig Windows computer. Hey, I've got my 32 gig storage, hard drive, memory, whatever you want to call it, uh, Windows laptop here. This is an HP Stream 14, and it's a great little laptop, and I've actually loved the form factor and everything about it. But I'm going to explain to you why you should never get one with 32 gigs. This one has a 32 gig MMC, so it's a, like a solid state, a flash based uh, hard drive essentially. And there's really two problems. The first problem is you can't update Windows. So uh, what I did here is I logged in. I've used it, you know, to browse the web. I haven't installed any com computer programs like, you know, Microsoft Office or something that's really large and bloated. But one of the problems is once you get it, there are probably numerous Windows updates that it needs to apply. And it just can't do them because there are so many of them. Uh, most of the storage on the computer is going towards the operating system. So what did I do? It tells me I can use an external drive. So I bought this uh, 64 gig flash drive, which is great thumb drive, plugged it in and it downloads the update to this. However, it needs some hard drive to apply the update, which unbeknownst to me was couple of gigs or something and the hard drive didn't have it so it actually could not apply the windows updates which is incredibly frustrating and um it's not that the computer won't function but you're running a lot of security risks really uh, as well as stability issues and whatnot the second issue is um i thought okay well you can't install the updates what i would really like to do is just flash the uh, factory settings back to the computer and give it to someone or sell it or something like that and the problem with that is, is I'm back here in the Windows recovery mode and to do the PC reset, if you click start, what you can't do, uh, even if you're uh, removing all your files, uh, it won't go ahead and do it because there isn't enough uh, space on the hard drive. So I'm just trying to click through it here to see. I uh, won't do it because I'm on battery power. But basically what it said is that I need another two gigs of space on the hard drive or something like that and it won't let you use an external drive and it actually gives you some great suggestions about emptying your recycle bin or use disk cleanup which i did both of them but since i didn't have anything installed on here there was nothing that i couldn't uninstall and there were really other than the system and temporary files and things like that which i did purge which ended up being like 120 megs or something you know it didn't even come close to being able to do a clean refresh install of the operating system so other than logging in on this and using it as a web computer and uh, a web terminal or something like that and putting on some light programs you can install updates and you can't restore it back to factory settings those are two big swings and misses on windows windows is not a good operating system so if you are going to get a windows laptop at all i would strongly recommend getting something larger than the 32 gig hard drive i would suggest at least a 64. now the 32 is really really popular i think because of its low price point i'm not sure why microsoft is not counseling people on this but uh, that is just not enough space if you want to pick up this laptop though it's a pretty nice little laptop for what it is i'll put a link to it in the description below otherwise i'll put a link to a 64 gig laptop as well Peter Van Panda. Out!